Hi, this is Lara at Elliott Wave Stock Market with your weekly oil analysis done after the close of New York, 4th of June. I'm recording this video now, it's the 5th of June, New York time, just gone 10 past 1am in the morning. I just have the one wave count for you this week. My main wave count sees oil within a downwards trend intermediate degree, it's within a third wave. Within intermediate wave 3 on the monthly chart, we have the end of minor wave 1 down here, and this wave count sees minor wave 2 as a big sideways and upwards moving double zigzag structure. We have a 535 zigzag, the first zigzag in the double is labelled minute wave W. We have a 535 zigzag, a three wave zigzag in the opposite direction, joins the two structures of the double. And here we have another 5, 3, we need a 5 up to complete a zigzag for minute wave Y. At 98.36, minuet wave C would reach 0.618, the length of minuet wave A, and that would bring minor wave 2 right up to almost touch the start of minor wave 1. Sometimes that's what second waves do. When they do that, they really test our nerves and patience. It's only movement above 98.37 which invalidates this wave count. I'd expect Minuet Wave C to probably end midway in this channel. I've drawn here using Elliot's technique around the second zigzag and the double labelled Minute Y. I've drawn the channel first from the start of A to the end of B with a parallel copy on the end of A. Eventually, when we have a clear trend channel breach of this channel to the downside, that'll provide strong confirmation that minor wave 2 in its entirety will probably be over, and minor wave 3 down within intermediate wave 3 down should then be underway. But we're not there yet. Let's have a look at, oh, quickly before we go to the hourly chart, my previous alternate saw the possibility of minor wave 2 over here as a single zigzag, and minor wave 3 starting here with a leading expanding diagonal with 1, 2, 3, 4 and the 5th wave down to complete. The 4th wave within such a structure would have to end at this point here because it's very slightly higher than this point here. Now the problem with that is within the 4th wave it has to be a zigzag within a leading diagonal so we'd have a 5, 3 and this would have to subdivide into a five wave structure, either an ending diagonal or an impulse. I've gone back and looked at this piece of movement very carefully on the hourly chart and I just cannot see it as a five. It subdivides okay as a three, it just won't work as a five. So on that basis I'm discarding that alternate wave count. The implication is pretty strong, it means I'm expecting we should be seeing upwards movement for oil, whereas my alternate allowed for some good downwards movement. Minuet wave C will probably take most and maybe even all of a week to complete. It may be over before I analyse oil next, it may not be. Let's have a look at the structure on the hourly chart with a low of minuet wave B down here is this point down here. So all that sideways overlapping zigzag movement that I analysed in last week's analysis was not a triangle. With price movement below this point, that triangle was invalidated. It was an ending diagonal, which also subdivides into a series of zigzags. So minuet wave B ended here. This is where the C wave begins. We have a nice five wave impulse up here. This is sub minuet wave 1 within the five wave structure for the C wave. We have a zigzag downwards here, so this is sub-minuet wave 2. At the moment we have 5s up and 3 down. At the moment the trend for oil is up. Minuet wave, sorry, sub-minuet wave C has begun with 1, 2. If microwave 2 continues further sideways and moves lower, it can't move beyond the start of 1. In the short term, this wave count at the hourly chart level is invalidated with movement below 92.38. When minuet wave C from this low on up can be seen as a completed 5 wave structure even if it falls short of the target, at that stage we have to remove the short term invalidation point and look out for a trend change to the downside. 
so I'm expecting some more upwards movement for oil, which may continue for most, if not all, of the next week. That C wave needs to subdivide to a 5 wave structure. So far it looks like it may be unfolding as an impulse, which would be pretty simple to analyse. And when it's done, look out for a trend change for oil and downwards movement. That's all for me today with your oil analysis, and I hope that everybody had a fabulous week.